So the title of the exhibition is Cybernetic Serendipity. Serendipity because since cybernetics and computers in this exhibition involve random systems, the exhibition is about happy chance discoveries with the computer. Now, of course, artists didn't have computers in the 1960s, as you can imagine. So most of the participants in the exhibition were scientists. And there was a magazine which was published in the early 60s in Massachusetts called Computers and Automation. And they had competition for the best computer graphics. Well, so one didn't need to look much further than that. And that's how I found many of the participants in the exhibition. So computer graphics was part of the exhibition. There were also robots. Most of these were made by artists like Nam Jun Paik, Bruce Lacey, and then there were also films composed with computers and music. There was enormous interest. As it says here, where in London could you take a hippie, a computer programmer, a 10-year-old schoolboy and guarantee that each would be perfectly happy for an hour? without you having to lift a finger to entertain them. From today, there is just one such place, the Institute of Contemporary Arts. I want you to imagine 1968. It's difficult to imagine today. The reason why all these photographs are in black and white, none of us had cameras. Color film was something quite rare. If you also look at these invitations and look at the text, we didn't even have an electric typewriter. These texts were typed on a manual typewriter with a carbon ribbon, which gave it the text a very fine definition. This is an interesting piece of work. This was a flower type shape. And if you addressed it quietly, if you talked to it, hello, hello, it would respond. It would respond by turning round towards you. And children were very, very good at it. But the adults were embarrassed about talking to a machine, so they didn't get any response. When I was four, I was given a robot. And my mother told me about a machine that would be available one day where you put in dirty clothes and the clothes come out clean and ironed. And I thought, I'm going to have such a machine. And I've always been interested in machines and robots. I would like to know what's next. I've been trying to think today if we wanted a departure from here and now, what would we have to do to have the same feeling that we had? People got very excited seeing that exhibition. It was a revelation. But what would be a revelation today? And I'm still thinking.